Good morning. Another beautiful day in Kampala, Uganda. And I am uh, here just waiting for a meeting. As I told you, I like to make sure that I get to places early, give myself enough time so that I'm not rushing and um, running around like a headless chicken. So I'm just sat in the car around the corner from the location. I'm meeting someone to um, discuss shooting tomorrow because we're going to be filming tomorrow at this particular location, um, the pilot for the new show. So um, when I drove past the building, the, the um, location, the gates were closed. So I've just found somewhere to park close enough because there is quite heavy traffic on that main road. And then um, close to the time, I will scoot on down there. So um, I've probably been, I was probably about 45 minutes to an hour early, which has been great because I've got my laptop down here. Um, right down here. And um, I just managed to transfer data from my SD card in my camera because at the weekend I had my daughter's birthday party so um it's been full on since then so i've just taken that out in preparation for tomorrow and then i can form format that into the camera but um yes for today what we'll, i'll be looking to do is get all the paperwork done so um for them to sign the talent release forms location release forms so all of that's done beforehand and what i am going to do now before i decided to make this video I was about to um, fill those out so that's what I use okay and then location release form so what those help with is um, later on when we've gone through all the process um, we know that we did have consent to film at that location and that those people that are taking part in it also consented to appear in any um, visual media um, format that we put it in. So when we edit it, when we create the show, they've already given their consent to be part of it. So uh, that's very helpful. And uh, once we've done that, then we're going to be looking at the site going over I'll be looking in my mind I'll be going over my script to think to see where's a good um, setup where you know setup wise what we're going to do setup wise and then also lighting today it's it was the sun was a bit out but now it's starting to rain so it's quite good as well to see what the lighting is like that's why I brought my camera so that I can um, so that I can see what it looks like with the camera on and what kind of image that we can capture and what would need to set the if it was dark like this what we need to set the iso and aperture to and whether we need additional lighting now based on the location i've seen the location already sorry um and i know that we will need extra lighting so i'll be bringing lights along but i think they also have lights there so we'll see how that goes um yay it's finished transferring that's great and i've got oh i'm on the phone now so i can't see i what the time is but i think i've got about 20 minutes left so i'll fill out those um the top part of the location and talent release forms and that's ready to go so that saves time again out there they just need to do their bit and then um Yes, and then I will get to the location, park up, and then I can start um, taking stuff out of the car. But yes, in summary, get to your location earlier. Um, try and do as much prep work as you can before the day. And then um, it makes things move a lot smoothly and time just goes like this. So the more that you can do beforehand, the better. And obviously with a young family with kids to, I had to take the kids to nursery today. So with the young family, there's always something else going on at home. So 
practically. Sometimes it's not as um, it's easier said than done. But whatever you need to do to be able to create that space and that time to do your uh, prep work, then that will help you to go into the um, situation, whether it's the it's on set or into a meeting with a clear head, calm, collected and ready for action, ready to do what you need to do. So in fact, what I did as well as I printed more of those talent and uh, location release forms, I had enough. But I didn't want the last one to be used. So I made sure that I went to one of those uh, printing stations here in Uganda to print, photocopy a sheet. It's a uh, hundred thousand shillings. Sorry, sorry. It's a hundred shillings. Yes, a hundred shillings. So, um, not a hundred thousand, a hundred shillings. So um, that's really convenient and it's affordable as well. So yes, um, I hope you have a productive day. And I'm sure you can notice that there's a bit of a glow to my image at the moment. And that's because I've put a new screen guard on it. My screen guard fell off. I've put a screen guard on. And unfortunately, I didn't notice. I thought it was just a standard one. I didn't notice that the screen guard that she was selling me, the camera portion is covered with glass, which, of course, affects your camera quality. So I'm going to have to get another one. Um, where the camera portion is open and strangely enough they left the flash section open but then they didn't leave the camera section open so um, I'm going to have to get another one and then you'll be able to get clearer images although this kind of gives it like a movie feel doesn't it movies the old style movies anyway before this ultra hd 4k the older style movies which I, I prefer has they have kind of like a haze over it so you feel like you're watching a movie rather than you are there right there reality reality tv i don't mind it being really sharp and crisp and clear but for a movie i do like there to be um some kind of haze or uh for it to feel a bit softer that's the word for it to have a softer feel so they could do that with the color grading um to give it sort of like a so that you feel like you're you're watching a movie rather than watching a home video. So anyway, we'll go back to home video style when I change my screen cover. But for now, um, stay productive, keep on creating and share your tips and tricks and hints for effective working life, work life balance. So put the comments below on the things that you do to help you um, stay productive and to help you balance family life, work life, getting things done. And who knows, you might be able to help me or help somebody else who reads the comments. So put that in the link before, below. If you um, share the video as well and uh, get your friends, get your family, get your nieces and nephews, whoever, to subscribe to the channel so that I can keep on creating the content. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye. Uh, tomorrow, there's always one more thing, isn't there? There's always one more thing. One more thing. Tomorrow, I will do my best. It's going to be really, really tight because we're there to do a job and I'm going to be filming and we're actually going to be filming the show. So, But tomorrow, I will see if I can just use my phone and either show you the setup or just show you a sneak peek of what we're doing. And... Um, yeah, that might be useful to some people, but we're going to have two camera ladies on hand um, and I'll be there. Then we'll have a, a talent person, so someone who's actually going to be doing something. And also I will um, bring in also the, the, the owner of the place as well. They need to do their bit as well, but we're going to talk about that. So, um, hopefully you can see behind the scenes. Okay, take care for now. Bye. For real this time. Bye.